Now to insert and sew our zip, we need to do a couple of things to prepare to begin with. Where we're going to put our zip on our fabric and our lining on the right, actually we'll do it on the wrong side. On the wrong side of the fabric, you're going to fold it in half, matching your corners. And in that fold, you're going to get a pencil or some chalk and just mark a line. Now that line is indicating the center of our fabric. We're going to do the same with our zip. We're going to fold it in half. So the ends are matching neatly. We might have to zip that up to do it. And we're going to mark that halfway point. See? And then we're going to do it again with our lining. Folding it in half and marking. So to prepare our zip to be sewn, what we need to do is with at the right side of our outer fabric facing up, we're going to put our zip down. But what we need to do is line up those notches that we made or those marks. I've lined them up and then I'm going to put a pin in my zip. Now I'm going to pin in then out perpendicular so it's a right angle to my zip edge. And then I'm going to put a pin at the ends. Again, they're both perpendicular to the edge of the fabric that we're stitching, like that. Now, so just repeating, out of fabric facing up, wrong side of the zip facing up, so the right side of our zip, which has the zip head, faces down. Now, our, because I've put a pin in the center there, I know that my lining notch needs to line up there and I'm going to place that on top, pinch it together and pin all three layers together. So just making sure you've got it the right way. You've got your lining with the wrong side facing up. In between that, you've got your zip with the right side facing down onto the right side of the outer fabric. And then we can get ready to stitch this in place. So back at the machine, we're going to change our normal presser foot to a zip presser foot. So this one you can be put on the left side or the right side and it just removes this metal part, the presser foot, to allow for the zip teeth to be um, stitched. Well, not the teeth to be stitched, but the zip to be stitched without the zip teeth getting in the way. Because you'll find if you look at the pencil case, the zip is very bulky. So you've got these teeth in here and they're very bulky. The machine won't stitch close to them without this being changed. So what you do, you find at the back here, there's a little button, push it in. Now the button is red or it might be black, depending on the machine, and it drops that off. Put that to one side, don't lose it. And we're going to put our zip presser foot on this side which is the left side so we've got this little bar here and this part here needs to click onto that bar 
and you do that by dropping down the presser foot lever. Now that wasn't right in the right spot, but that was, you can see it's clicked on. Put your threads out to one side and then I'm ready to sew. But I've got to work out where do I want to line up my foot. So a really good spot to line up your fabric with your presser foot when you're doing a zip is this edge here with this edge of your fabric. We're going to start, we're not starting right at, actually, we could start right at the end. So we're going to start right at the end. Now you may need to, you can see my machine's not really liking this fabric. Pull your threads to get it to go, do a reverse. And then this is a really thick bit here that where the zip starts. So you'll have to pull those threads and toe tap to get it to go over that. So remembering I'm lining up the edge with this edge of the foot and I've got a pin here. Now I need to take this out, I can't just sew over that. So I take that out as I go along. That's why I put them in so that they're perpendicular. Now with this hand, I'm holding that fabric. So you can see here, nice and tight. And I'm going to hold the fabric at the back, nice and tight as well. And I'm going to pull all those three layers through the machine. Stop, take out your pin, go back to holding all three layers nice and tight, okay? Because then you won't get any bunching like that. Nice and tight. Now I need to stop because I'm almost at the zip head. The zip head is here, so it's in the way. So I'm gonna put my needle in, lift up my presser foot, open up my lining, and find that zip head. I'm trying to show you here. And I'm gonna grab that, fold back my lining, and zip it. I don't know if you can see my hand under there. I'm actually zipping that head out the way because the presser foot won't go past that, it's way too thick. Go back to holding your fabric nice and tight. Stop when you get to the last pin. And finish with a little reverse stitch. Okay, so that is my stitch line for my zip. So if I open this up and have a look, if I've lined up my presser foot well, it should be nice and evenly stitched from the zip teeth. Now we can move on to the next side, so the other side of the zip. So I'm back at the cutting table. I've attached my zip to one side of my outer fabric and lining. Now I need to do the other side. So if you remember from before, we marked our center points of our fabric by folding them in half along the edge that's going to have the zip sewn. There. And a zip we need to mark as well, fold that in half pinch it together, and make a mark there, and the lining as well. So fold that in half along the edge that you're gonna attach your zip and mark that. So now if you remember before, we started with, it might actually be easier if I transfer that mark to this side. So the right side of the fabric facing up and then the right side of the zip goes face down. So I'm going to match those marks that I've made. I might zip the zip up, make it a bit easier. Just going to match those marks and then put a pin in so it is perpendicular to the edge. Then pin the other ends of your zip gonna get that zip head out the way a little bit 
Now you can see I'm lining up all my edges. Then from there, make sure the lining that you've done is not in the way. Grab your other lining piece with the right side facing down. Line up that mark with that middle pin. And then just pin, repin all your three layers together. So back at the machine, you're going to stitch this side now. So remember and grab your threads at the back. Line it up with this part with a presser foot. I just zoom in a little bit. Pop your presser foot down, grab your threads, give them a toe tap to get started, and a tug, and stitch your zip. Take your pins out, hold your fabric nice and tight. Now I'm just going to stop, I've got my zip head coming up, so just like before, it's just here. Needle in. Press the foot up. Now you're going to have to go through your layers to find that zip head and you're going to zip it up and pass the foot. Put your foot back down, holding it nice and tight at both ends, so up the back here and at the front. Keep stitching, remembering you're lining up that with the edge of the fabric. stitch and trimming your threads so that is your zip attached with your outer fabric and your lining fabric that's pretty cool all right so now what you're going to do is iron this nice and flat and open at the iron so at the iron you do want to pull your layers, so you've got your outer layer and your lining layer nice and tight to get that fabric around the zip really open. And then once you're happy with that, give it a really good iron. Just be careful with your felt if you have your iron too hot you might melt that okay so that is my zip opening finish and we've only got one last step to do and that's to sew it all together